In the last month, there have been two more prominent euthanasia situations which have come to light involving FWC. One of these was the killing of an escape pet monitor lizard. FWC initially identified that as a black-throated monitor, but after coordination with several experts, both in the zoo field and amongst private keepers, uh, it's been determined that this was most likely a white-throated monitor, not a black throat. The other incident is the absolutely horrific killing of a white-tailed deer, which was raised as a pet. FWC Executive Director Roger Young did reach out to U.S. Arc Florida regarding these recent euthanasia controversies. He issued this statement by email to U.S. Arc Florida President Elizabeth Wisniewski. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to provide some context to the incidents you're referring to in this video. The two events are very different and illustrate the hard decisions that our volunteers and staff have to make every day to balance public safety and conservation considerations. As you are aware, at a prior commission meeting, I directed staff to halt euthanasia of animals in the field, barring exigent circumstances. It is very likely that this message didn't get to our volunteers who are assisting with non-native wildlife control efforts, and that's on me. We are committed to making changes and improvements to our procedures, and we are in the process of drafting updated policy and guidelines to address incidents such as these. Our Division of Law Enforcement has been drafting a policy on field euthanasia for officers, and our Habitat and Species Conservation Division is developing guidelines for disposition of captured non-native species, which will include rehoming if possible. When I directed staff to cease field euthanasia except for exigent circumstances, it was following the incident in which a captive boa constrictor was mistakenly killed by captive wildlife investigators. My direction, which could have been stated more explicitly at the time, was specifically to prevent an incident of that nature from occurring again. Captive wildlife staff has halted the euthanasia of captive animals within the facilities they are housed, unless exigent circumstances are present. The FWC will continue efforts to minimize the adverse impacts of non-native species in Florida through prevention, early detection, rapid response, control and management, and education and outreach. Our staff will continue to monitor and remove non-native species, rehome when or if possible, respond to new invasions, and assess the risk of species not yet present in our state. Roger A. Young, Executive Director, Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission. Roger Young has been responsive to us and he's been willing to engage in meaningful dialogue. In this statement, Young is accepting responsibility, which shows good leadership skills and character. It's certainly nothing like anything we've seen from previous FWC leadership, and that's a good thing.